Hi, uh, Dave Jack here, the superintendent of Falker County Public Schools um, with a longer than usual update. And I apologize for that, but lots of information uh, has been provided recently from the state. And uh, even this morning, I, I, this is my second recording of this. I, I actually, we met with high school principals and I had already recorded this, but after meeting with high school principals, some information changed, so I need to update that information. Um, so this is longer than usual. I apologize for that, but I think you'll find it helpful. Um, so uh, first and foremost, unprecedented times uh, to the extreme. I can't think of uh, a more unprecedented situation than we're experiencing now. It's stressful for all. We're trying to do our best to keep the stress level down at a minimum for teachers, for parents, and for students. And um, that, that will continue to be our goal as we plan for continuity of instruction to begin, which really is the beginning of the fourth quarter on April 14th. Um, but I want to begin by saying the, the current situation beginning now through April 13th has not changed. Any work that is provided by teachers is optional. It's a resource. It is not to be graded. Honestly, there's no expectation that it be completed at all. And there has been some communication shared with me uh, from, uh, from teachers to parents about picking up materials and contacting office staff and et cetera, et cetera. No. Uh, our buildings are closed for all intents and purposes until until this coming Monday, but even that, I'll talk about that in a minute, even that is on a very limited basis. But um, nothing has changed in that respect. I, we don't want to panic people or stress people out th thinking that there's some assignment out there that needs to be completed or it's going to wreck their grade. Uh, that is not the case. And if you if you parents receive information like that from teachers, Please reach out to me or your principal and, and let's let's work on that because we don't want you to be stressed out. There's enough stress around there for, around going around that's enough for everyone. Uh, so enough said there. Um, graduation, or right, this is probably the most frequently asked question uh, subject uh, that I've been dealing with or we've been dealing with. Here's the answer, and you probably have already heard this: students who are who are on track to graduate. Uh, for all intents and purposes, are promoted as of March 13th. So if you are on track to graduate, as of March 13th, you are you are essentially done. Uh, there, there is no SOL expectation. There is no additional verified credit expectation, meaning that if there's a, a senior, some seniors out there still need a verified credit, they pass the course but not the test, for example, you don't need to worry about it. There is no, there are, there are no SOL tests um, for this this school year, excuse me, for seniors this school year uh, after March 13th. For March 13th, seniors are done. Um, if there are students out there, and I understand there's only a handful after checking with high school principals, there's only a handful of, of seniors who are not in good standing that need, um, who, are, who are failing a required course for graduation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we, nope, don't panic. We're still going to provide you re with instructional resources to uh, ensure that you're you are graduating. So uh, you'll be hearing more from your our schools relative to that, just not right now. Um, we're going to be providing as much flexibility as possible, and this is this is something. This is a, a message that's come down from the state state superintendent, and he's used words like ease, easy seamless flexible standardized all those all those things that we ought to be doing as we prepare for continuing instruction for example we want to standardize you know the the um, objectives and um, ob objectives and uh, content at each grade level and any subjects so that school to school teacher to teacher subject so we're doing the same things and we're we're, we're Pairing it down to just the required content. Does that mean that teachers can't do some cool stuff? They absolutely can. But as far as what we're encouraging and what we're expecting, it's ease of instruction, ease of delivery, uh, continuity, uh, standardized materials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so 
that's that. Um, seniors, I, you know, I, I, I feel badly about a, a lot of things. I, I feel probably the worst about the situation with seniors and, and you know, to, to complete 98% of your, of your schooling and then, and then get, get being dealt this really lousy hand right at the end is, is, um, it really stinks, and, and I'm sorry. Um, we're, we're proud of you. We're sorry that, you know, the, the prom thing clearly is off the table. Uh, I did have, we did have a meeting this morning at 9 with high school principals to talk to them about um, uh, graduation ceremonies and the awarding of diplomas, etc. cetera. And... Um, we're going to be providing information along those lines, but the fact is, I mean, the high school principals believe that we should be having a, a meaningful exercise graduation ceremony at some point, perhaps in the summer or even into early fall. But we we can't commit to that because we don't know how much longer this this mess is going to continue. So it's we can't answer that question. Um, so stay tuned. We're, we'll be providing more information. There is no good answer. There is no hey, that's fan. There is no such thing. It's whatever it is. It's going to require flexibility. It means that some folks might be excluded. For example, I know we have kids who, are, you know, they're they're set to they're they're enlisted. They're they're set to report to boot camp in June. Um, what do we do for them? It's tough. It's really tough. Um, but we'll be providing information soon uh, about about what will be happening there. All right, April fourteenth um, starts essentially starts the beginning of the fourth term, fourth quarter for Fauquier County Public Schools. It will be a shortened um, it be a shortened term. It be, it will be our fourth quarter term. I'm going to read from my notes here so I don't mess anything up. But before I start reading, I do want to mention this. Um, God bless our teachers for providing information to families and on an ongoing basis, but it, it, it is overwhelming and we've shared this with principals and we're asking them to share with their teachers. It is overwhelming for parents to receive four or five, six emails from various teachers in a day's time about a variety of subjects. It's just, it's overwhelming and we don't want to overwhelm parents and students we, we don't want to do that. So we're working with principals to sort of standardize communication so that parents aren't overwhelmed with correspondence from teachers because the fact is it's March 27th. Uh, uh, clearly, you know, the 14th is an important date as far as starting the fourth term. But until then, we're status quo. We need to limit communication so folks aren't overwhelmed. That does not mean that you as a parent can't email a teacher, me, a principal, whatever, and request information. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about dumping information into laps of parents. It's, it can be very overwhelming, and we, don't, we do not want that. Um, so uh, enough said there. But as we move forward, um, we, we are anticipating providing a framework it's, it'll, it will be coming soon um, about what instruction will look like. I, it, I get this question, is it going to be all online instruction? I don't think so. I, I, I don't want to go there because I know that for some of our families that creates a real barrier. But I would guess that an online component will be embedded in each subject, in each grade level, et cetera, et cetera. But the, the point is that we want to make it flexible uh, because um, Everyone's in it. I've already heard from parents who are saying, if you're planning on providing instruction during the day online or whatever, we both, my wife and I work, um, you know, they're, we're not going to be able to monitor what our child does and doesn't do for our schoolwork. Please don't let that distract you or stress you out. We're going to provide a flexible framework. Um, and we're going to do whatever we can to um, provide you with the resources you need. Now, along those lines, we sent a survey out last night to parents to try to determine what your needs are as far as the need of devices and connectivity, for example. Um, what the state superintendent has said is if you're planning to 
provide the um, majority of your instruction online, then you got to make sure that every, every student in your school division has the device they need and connectivity. So that's easier said than done, obviously, but we're going to work towards that. And the starting point for that is to survey to find out what folks' needs are. The devices part is manageable. The connectivity part is much more difficult. We have Khajiit units, which are portable hotspots that we can give to parents, but they're only going to work if you have good cell, uh, cell, um, cell service. If you don't get cell service, then the hotspots don't work. I live in Orlean, for example. I have lousy cell service and internet. I tried to live stream the BOS meeting last night, and that was an exercise in futility. I just couldn't do it. So those those hotspots will, will have a, a finite number of those available uh, to parents. We're just, we just need to know how many we need. Another thing we're doing is uh, equipping buses, about 10 buses, with um, sort of high-powered hotspots that can be parked in various parts of the county. Uh, and then folks can pull up to them and use the internet, uh, use the signal from the buses, but information will be coming out about that. As always, uh, parents can park in front of our schools, and I know that this has been happening and it's absolutely fine. Park in front of the schools to, enter, to get in, to use our Wi-Fi, it's absolutely fine. We just ask you, you know, we don't encourage that, but if you need to do that, we, you know, just stay in your car. And then uh, the, a fourth piece of this puzzle is what the county is doing is the, the county is looking at some options as far as having hubs uh, where internet access is is available to parents who don't have it within their communities or in their homes. All right, so that stay tuned for that. But that but key is to complete that survey so we know how much to provide and what the what the uh, what what you know what the cost will be ultimately. I guess what it's, what it comes down to. Um, we are planning to provide um, instructional staff with guidelines very soon, starting Monday. For example, um, we'll have a um, handful of administrators in each of our buildings beginning this coming Monday morning to answer questions. If teachers need to come in and grab materials, you know, your, your principal will be reaching out to you. Um, to let you know what that might look like if you need to come in and get materials uh, to prepare for the provision of instruction and that's that we all agree that that's fine the principals will coordinate that other what the principals are asking that you don't come in and start cleaning your classroom and changing your bulletin boards on just come in get what you need and then exit the building um, so but the, the goal there again is to um, have an administrative presence in the building starting Monday. Uh, teachers can access the buildings to get what they need, but please check with your principal first. Um, parents will have lots of, of questions, I'm sure, in the next few weeks. You know, we want to be able to have um, folks uh, a voice that you can actually talk to uh, within each of the buildings. So we'll, we'll, that will begin begin Monday. And, and students, please stay away. The, 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 the idea of opening, of having a presence in the building is not so students can come in, clean out their gym lockers and get their books and stuff. No, stay away. Uh, that's something that we're going to have to address later on for right now. You know, you stay at home. Um, and, yeah, last thing under this this section is, you know, the, 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 co the goal again is to ease stress provide ease of delivery of instruction to provide make it easy for students to have already had students reach out and say does this mean I have to repeat, repeat my ninth grade year no it does not We're, we want to make this as, as seamless as possible uh, so stay tuned for more information there but we, we want to limit stress that's that's a, a, a key goal for us um, so last but not least um, when we want to, with the principals going back into buildings, it, it's it's not ideal, and um, we want to limit people moving in and out of our buildings, particularly right now. But um, if there is an emergency, and I, when I mean emergency, I mean I, my child has left his medication. It's in the nurse's station. Can we come and get it? Yeah, I know that that's already occurred, but 
if if something like that pops up then you know reach out to your child's school beginning of monday and same with you teachers but I, I suspect teachers you're going to be hearing from your principal anyway uh and I think that's that's really about it. Uh, I, you know, it's 15 minute update, but and, and anytime you provide new information, it just it, it creates more questions. And so I would a ask you to continue to refer to the FAQ document, which is located at www.fcps1.org forward slash COVID-19. That's regularly updated. Just check that out. But if you have pressing questions, of course, you can ask, and we will certainly answer. Uh, and it's really about it. Um, please stay safe. Um, hopefully, I've not missed any really important pieces of information. But if you think I have, then just send me an email, and, um, and we will do whatever we can to help you out. All right.